Our second step in our spatial decision making is to buffer our roads. I'm looking at my original problem statement and it looks like for the roadways I've got to have a buffer of 100 meters. So great, just like we did for hydro, notice that the roads are the seven and a half minute by seven and a half minute topographic area of the Earth's surface. Now the outer boundary is the perimeter, the neat line. They're not really roads, they're just the bounding rectangle around the data set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to selection and I'm going to select by attributes and I'm going to select the roads where the L poly, the left side poly, is equal to, and get unique values, one, or the right side poly, or the R poly, is equal to, get unique values, one. Okay, now I've got the perimeter se selected, and I can go to selection here under roads, and switch selection. Great, now I truly just have the, the roads that are truly road features. Now I'm going to buffer those by 100 meters. So under the buffer tool, I'm going to select my input and I'm going to select my output. And I've already selected uh, the, I've already set it up so that it, my environment variable, my workspace, part of the environments and geoprocessing is actually going to output into the, my working folder. So that makes it uh, very convenient. That way it's not saving to different places on my computer that I have no idea where and I'd have to find them later on. So I'm going to buffer roads and trails and I'm going to call it, uh, just call it 100 meters because I know it's a buffer, dot shape. So I'm not saving it in a, in a geo database feature class. I'm saving it as a shape file. And I'm going to make it 100 meters. I'm going to take the defaults on the other and I'm going to run the buffer command, which is uh, right there, and it looks like it worked fine. So let's go ahead and turn off the road. So you can see there's my buffers, and let's go ahead and zoom in here and just verify that uh, we've got 100 meter buffers around these roads. And so go ahead and measure the distance in meters, and so here we've got 100 meters. It's 100 meters on each side, which is great. That's exactly what we wanted. All right, so now we've got the roads buffered, and we've also got, I'll zoom out a bit here, we have the hydro buffered, and there's my hydro buffers right there. So we have areas near roads and areas near rivers. On to the next step.